You could get as much as $5 for a head or a scalp of an Indian. Now, the average wage was 25 cents a day. Imagine how much you could get by turning in an Indian head or a scalp. Five dollars. That's a lot of money. There was people that turned to Indian hunters. The government put together militias that sole purpose was to go throughout California and do nothing but slaughter and the law, that act, the government and protection of Native Americans in California, allowed all that stuff to happen. You could not testify that somebody did something to you or killed your wife or raped your wife or anything. Therefore, no charges were ever brought. It was legalized and subsidized extermination of the Indians all the way across California. At the end, the federal government paid California back for all those bounties that they paid out. It was over a million dollars, along with the killing of Indians, also brought disease, smallpox being the main one large portions of villages would just die off because we had no immunity to it, so we had no way to fight it. The other thing that created problems was starvation, that the elk herd disappeared. The white people ate them. Well, same for the deer and the antelope and all the food. But to give you an idea of how fast this occurred, at the beginning of the gold rush, we had in our territory just here, over 7,000 Indians here. Two years after the gold rush started, we were down to 3,500. A year after that, we're down to 2,500. By the 1905 and 1906 census, our population was 53. By the 1934, the Indian Reorganization Act, 18 people. So that's how fast our population dropped. I want it to be known that we're still here. We never left our homelands and this is where our people will always be.